now, Dakota Ring Theater presents the continuing adventures of Canada's greatest superhero, that scourge of the underworld, hunter of those who prey upon the innocent, that marvelous masked mystery man known only as the Red Panda! The Red Panda, mysterious crusader for justice, hides his true identity as one of the city's wealthiest men in his never-ending battle against crime and corruption. Only his trusty driver, Kit Baxter, who joins him in his quest in the guise of the Flying Squirrel, knows who wears the mask of the Red Panda. This episode, When Darkness Falls. Come on, Wally. What do you want to go home so early for? I promised my mom I'd stay out of trouble, that's all. Who says we're going to get in any trouble? Nobody, I guess. It just kind of always works out that way. She's just sore about what happened with that skunk. Everybody in my building is sore about that, Harry. If I get in trouble just one more time, my dad says I'll be grounded till I'm 14. Oh, he's just talking. Yeah, well, I'm just listening. What was that? I don't know, but it sure sounded like trouble to me. It came from one block over. Come on, let's cut through the alley. Harry, wait. We can't. For Pete's sake, Wally, somebody might need help. Oh, my gosh. That man, he's bleeding. He looks hurt. What's that he's doing? Looks like he's hiding something behind one of those bricks in the wall. I can't see from here. Come on. Harry, those were gunshots. That man could be anybody. We should get a grown-up, Harry. Hey, mister. Get back. Don't shoot. You're... (coughs) You're just a kid. Don't shoot, mister. I ain't gonna hurt you. No. No, I guess you're not. You hurt bad, mister? Bad enough. I'll get help. No, kid. Kid, it's too late for that. What do you mean? Listen to me, kid. I need you to deliver a message. Why'd those men shoot you, mister? <coughs> no time. Listen to me before it's too late. They shot me because I knew something. And I can't tell it to you. You'll be in danger. You got a pencil? Uh, sure. Sure, here it is. Need you to take this too. <coughs> if I can just hang on. There, take it. But, mister, this message don't make sense. It's in code. The less you know, <coughs> tell them. Tell who? Tell them what? What's your name, kid? Harry. Harry Kelly. I'm Gregor Sampson. Will you promise me, Harry? Promise? Mr. Sampson, what do you want me to tell? Tell him. It's Agent 33's final report. Agent... Th- but but who should I tell? The Red Panda. The Red Panda? Harry, will you promise? I promise. <sighs> Mr. Sampson! Mr. Sampson! Officer! Officer! Now slow down there, you young terror. What's the meaning of running out into traffic like that? There's a man. Didn't you see that taxi cab? The officer. You're just lucky he managed to swerve in time. Please, you need to come. What's the trouble, Bill? Oh, hello, Andy. I was just explaining to this young maniac how his mother would feel if we had to carry him home in two shoeboxes. He ran right out into traffic, didn't you? Please, please, you have to listen. It's important. Ah, Important, is it? All right. Tell Constable Parker and I all about it. There's a man in an alley four blocks over. He's been shot. Shot? Yes, sir. Shot dead. My friend Wally and I heard the shots, but Wally was too scared to go down the alley. Too sensible, more like. The man, he was dying, but he gave me a message before he died. And I've got to deliver it, or or I bet a whole lot more people are going to die, or worse. What was this message, son? I don't know. It's in code. (laughs) In code, is it? And who's this coded message for? For the Red Panda. The Red Panda? Yes, sir. And I've just got to find him, I promise. I think what we've got here is an imagination gone wild. Now listen here, son. It's a fine thing to be making up tall tales. But telling them to the police is quite another. Now, you seem like an all right boy. So I'm not going to run you in this time. But... It's all right, Bill. I've seen the boy on my beat. I'll see he gets straight home. All right, Andy. You know best. Now, you. If you give Constable Parker any more trouble, 
He'll clamp you in irons. Do you understand? Well, Come on, son. See you tomorrow, Bill. Good night, Andy. Listen to me, please, mister. I'm not making it up. I'm not imagining things. What's your name? Harry Kelly. This isn't the way to my house. Just keep walking, son. Nice and easy. What's going on? That message. Where is it? It's for the Red Panda. He's real. My friend saw him one time. He said he did. This isn't a game. The message. No. No, I promise. All right. The man that gave you the message? What was his name? He told me. I... I can't remember. Where are we going? You don't remember anything? He said he was Agent... Agent 33. 33? Short man, stocky with a beard. How did you... Gregor Samson. How did you know that? Come on. No, not till you tell me how you knew that. Keep a secret? Sure. If you tell anyone, I'll have to call you a liar. I promise. I'm Agent 51. Come on. You? Come on. You work for the Red Panda? I work for the people of Toronto. But there are some things the police can't do. That's where he comes in. You've seen him? We have to get you off the streets. Is it true he can really fly? If he can, I've never seen it. Listen, son, he has agents all over the city. His eyes and ears. Some do more than others. I do what I can. I only met Gregor Sampson once, and none of the field agents can reach the chief directly. I'm taking you to my contact man. He'll know what to do. There he is, with that cop! Harry, get down! Are you all right, kid? Those men tried to kill us! They must have seen you with Samson. Come on, we've got to hurry. Frankie, don't lead with the left. You leave yourself wide open, I said. Ah, what did I say? Maybe when he wakes up, he'll listen to me. All right, get him out of here. The rest of you mooks, take five, huh? And you, Parker... What am I supposed to do with you, huh? What do you bring me this kid for? Right to my door, no less. I didn't know what else to do with him, Spiro. What else to do? Take him to a safe place, then make contact, then await instructions. Why should today be any different? An agent was killed today. So we throw all the rules that make a rare occurrence, bang, out the window, huh? And you tell him everything. How else was I supposed to get him to come with me? You're a policeman, you big dummy. He's just a kid. Just a kid. Let me tell you, Mr. Just a Kid. You'll breathe a word of this. I won't say a thing. I promise. They're trying to kill him, Spiro. I haven't ruled that out myself yet. What was Samson working on? I don't know. I haven't been his contact man in over a year. The chief put him on something special, deep cover something. It must have been something pretty important for him to break cover like that. Nah, soon enough we'll know. You want me to take the kid to a safe house? Safe house? Now he wants to go to a safe house. The order was await instructions. So we await. Besides, who would think of looking for a little troublemaker in a gymnasium? There he is. I had to say it. Well, well. You've led us on quite a chase, little man. Hey, this is private property. You, get out. Oh, sorry. We didn't see the no trespassing sign, did we, boys? <laughs> That's as far as you go. What are you going to do, cop? There's four guns to your one. You haven't got a chance. Maybe. But sure enough, one of you will die. Oh, tough cop, huh? A real tough cop. Maybe. I don't shoot at children, if that's what you mean. No, you don't. But you do bring them to a boxing school instead of a police station when they need protecting, and that makes me wonder why. No answer, tough guy! <laughs> Maybe your friends won't be so shy once we pump you full of lead. Ah! My hand! It's broken! What was that? A boomerang, kid. You're about to get a show. <laughs> oh, no! Gas grenades! Spiro, get the kid to cover. It's not gas, you idiots! It's just a smoke screen. I couldn't see nothing. <laughs> what was that? Jonesy. We're Jonesy. <laughs> There's something else in here. Keep it together, you idiot. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of just here. Just shut up. No, you're not gonna take me. You're not gonna take me. <laughs> Who's there? What's happening? <laughs> Who's there? You're all alone now. Where are you? Alone in the darkness. What's happening? Alone and injured. No way to defend yourself. Please! And now you know the fear you've put into others. Help me! Please! <laughs> Please! <laughs> oh my gosh! They're coming out of the smoke! It's them! Who were you thinking it was? Are you all right, squirrel? What? Don't I look all right? Behave yourself. Yes, boss.
You are listening to the Red Panda Adventures from Dakota Ring Theater. Your address for adventure, mystery, and comedy. I don't understand. Why do we have to stay here? I have to stay here because the Red Panda told me to watch you. You have to stay here because I'll hang you on a coat hook if you try to leave. But he hypnotized them, didn't he? Those crooks don't remember me at all. That's what he said he was going to do. What did the message say? A message? What message? The coded message. The one that Agent 33 gave me just before he died. I know what he tells me, little man. He told me, Spiro, take the boy to the safe house. So that's what I know. You need to settle down and stop asking so many questions. The less you know, the safer you are. That might have worked this morning, Mr. Spiro. I couldn't be happy like that now. I'd die of boredom. I know too much now. Well, the chief, he'll fix that too. What do you mean? As soon as he's done what he's doing, he'll fix you up like he fixed up those hoods. He's not going to hit me. Hit you? No, he's going to make you forget. Forget? Oh, no. No, that's not fair. Fair? What is fair? Ask Gregor Sampson about fair. Ask Spiro about fair, for that matter. I sit here with you. My gym sits empty. But, Mr. Spiro... Shh! What is it? Someone! Outside the door. Who is it? Shh! I must give the countersign. Just open the door, Spiro. Don't get so big for your boots, Constable Parker. Remember who is the contact man here. I remember who is the babysitter here, that's for sure. What did he say? What was the message? Take it easy, Harry. Those gangsters won't remember me, will they? No. He erased their memories of seeing you in the alley at all. I ran them in for carrying guns. I just wished he'd planted a more believable story in their heads. They all seem to think I captured them single-handed. It's a little embarrassing. But then everybody will think you're a hero. You ungrateful little... It's okay, Spiro. Twice today you would have been dead if not for Andy Parker. Maybe more. Who stood between you and four thugs with nothing but a service revolver and dialogue from a cowboy movie? I'm sorry, Constable Parker. I didn't mean anything by it. Forget it, kid. It's the life of an agent. Sometimes you get a dressing down from headquarters. Sometimes you get a parade. I think he wants to see you make detective, Andy. I've got enough excitement as it is. So what happens now? 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 Nothing. Now we wait. But... Everybody's got their part to play, Harry. Not all heroes wear masks and jump off buildings. But that girl gets to help him. She's got a costume and everything. That girl is the flying squirrel. She's the red panda's partner, and she's got a lot more than just a costume. Saved my life twice, that girl has. And the chief's a lot more times than that, I'd say. So show a little respect. I didn't mean nothing. Don't worry, kid. Andy, he's a little sweet on the flying squirrel. Spiro. See how he blushes the big monkey in the bright blue suit. And you. You're like a schoolboy when she's around, you old devil. You watch your mouth. My wife, she wouldn't find that so funny. What are you smiling at, short pants? You're not going to remember any of this in an hour. That's not fair. Again with the fair. What did the message say? Please, Constable, I just gotta know. Spiral says the red pan is gonna make me forget everything anyway. I gotta know, just for a little while. This is the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me in my life, and I'm missing the whole thing. He didn't exactly say, Harry. He's had Gregor working deep in the underground. Gregor learned something so big, he had to break cover and get the evidence out. His message said he had the proof, but he didn't say where it was. Gosh! What could be that important that it was worth dying for? Each of us takes an oath, Harry. Do you know what an oath is? I guess. It's a kind of promise. A promise to stand up for what's good and true. To play our part each in our own way. It's the same kind of promise a policeman makes, or a soldier. To do what must be done to keep other people safe. Does that make sense? I guess. I shouldn't tell you all this. Andy, what does it matter? Two weeks ago, an old enemy of the Red Pandas came out of hiding, a criminal mastermind called the Golden Claw. She captured the chief, and the flying squirrel had to rescue him. Uh, See? Sweet on her. These are facts, Spiro. So they caught this Golden Claw? Sure, but the law couldn't prove anything. See, the claw came back in a different body. A different body? That's right. Somehow, she'd paid to have her... 
her mind or her spirit put into another body, a body that was stolen from someone else. Somebody died, Harry, and we couldn't prove it. We don't even know who she was. That's awful. And what's worse is, we don't know how many others there are. Since then, the Red Panda and the Flying Squirrel and all of us agents have been working to find out all we can. If we fail, there's no telling how many could die. Did Mr. Sampson find something? His note said he had the evidence, but gave no clue where it was. The Flying Squirrel went to the morgue to see if there was anything on the body. The Red Panda went to Sampson's rooms to see if there was anything there. But there could be more gangsters waiting for them. They could be in danger. Ah, uh, maybe. But they took an oath, too. You did a very good thing today, Harry. A very brave thing. And you might have helped to save a lot of lives. But you've done your part. It's up to others now. Maybe. What do you mean, maybe? Isn't that enough? Maybe. Maybe I know where Mr. Sampson hid the evidence. Kid? I can't believe I let you talk me into this. Please, Constable Parker, it's just down this alley. When Wally and I first saw Mr. Sampson, he was down here, hiding something behind one of those loose bricks. Loose bricks? Sure. All the kids in the neighborhood know about them. We used to use them for secret messages, but then we stopped. Why'd you stop? We didn't have no more secrets. Well, you got plenty of secrets now, kid. Yes, sir. I guess so. See, it's right here. It's loose. That's it. There is a space back here. Something feels like papers. There. Harry, this is it. This is the evidence we need to... What's that? I didn't hear anything. Don't turn around. Don't even try it. More gangsters! <laughs> See, Mace, I told you if we staked out the alley where the boys hit that punk, Samson, we'd turn up something. More than something. It's that hero cop that took in the rest of the boys. <laughs> this will get us in good with the boss. I know your boss's name. Too bad for you. The boss likes his prophecy. Waste him, Ricky. What about the kid? He's seen our faces, and he? But do the cop first. All right. Cops and kids. <laughs> this is bad luck, I'm telling you. You can say that again. What the? The flying squirrel! <laughs> <laughs> well, well. You two boys are out past bedtime, and I don't care for your choice of playmate. Hold it right there, Squirrel. You're on the ground now, and there's nothing you can do at this range. All I want is them papers, and I'll let all three of you live. That's very generous of you, Mace. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> this ain't no pop gun I got pointed at you, you know. Oh, I know. So why are you smiling then, huh? Why are you... <laughs> Because I can see the big guy in the mask behind you. That's why. Wow! Squirrel, those papers the constable has... I'm on it. They should be everything you need. They look good, boss. Even if they don't lock up a conviction, it's a place to start throwing punches anyway. Good. Then there's no reason to keep you conscious, is there, Mace? But please. <laughs> Putting in a little overtime, Constable Parker? Papers, boss. I had everything under control. You're just lucky Spiro got hold of us. You're welcome, by the way. And uh, you should see someone about that sunburn. Sunburn? He's blushing. <laughs> Kid, I swear. And you, Harry Kelly, you've taken far too many chances today. You have done much in the service of justice. But now, for your own safety... Oh, no, no, please. Don't make me forget. Please, I can't forget all this. Once young men get a taste for adventure, they tend to take unacceptable risks. Like put on a mask and associate with girls in squirrel suits? Besides, you know the identity of at least two of my active agents, one of whom is a vital contact link for agents in the field. You know too much about our operation. I won't tell. I'll never tell anybody. I promise. He did keep his promise to Gregor Sampson, sir, in spite of great personal risk. Harry Kelly's a brave boy. I trust him. I'm not sure I do. Then trust me. Please. And the other men and women whose lives would be put at risk, do they get a say in this? My word is law, Constable Parker. You took an oath. I understand. What's that? I wouldn't want anyone to have to break their word just for me. It's too important. You do what you think best, Red Panda. Yes. Well... See what I mean? Speaking of oaths... What's that? You wouldn't have to erase his memory if he took one. One what? Make him an agent. Really? 
An agent? Me? Now, hold on. Oh, gosh. Would you, Miss Squirrel, do you think it's okay? She's the one that wanted to get a dog. You're the one that wanted to get a dog with a mask. Oh, please, please. I want to help. Please. All right. After school tomorrow, go to the drugstore down the street. Tell Mr. Finalman the sky is falling on Wednesday and hold up your hand like this. See? Make sure no one else is around. Wait. Old Mr. Finalman is... Your new contact man. He'll give you a part-time job as a delivery boy. What will I really be? A delivery boy. But from time to time, you'll be delivering information from me. It won't be life and limb stuff, Harry. You're too young. I understand. Then raise your right hand. Do you, Harry Kelly, hereby swear honesty, fidelity, and courage to devote your life to the service of what is right and good? To be a man that holds high the light of justice when darkness falls? I swear! Welcome aboard, kid. And so concludes another adventure of the Red Panda! This recording and the story, characters, and situations contained therein are the exclusive property of their creator and copyright holder, Greg Taylor, and are produced and distributed by Decoder Ring Theater through arrangement with him. These recordings may not be rebroadcast or redistributed by any means for any reason without express permission. Until next time, when Decoder Ring Theater brings you the further thrilling adventures of Canada's greatest superhero, this is Stephen Burley reminding you DecoderRingTheater.com is your address to adventure! The Red Panda Adventures, Episode 15, When Darkness Falls, was written and directed by Greg Taylor and featured the vocal talents of Evan Jones, Peter Nickel, Peter Higginson, Michael Booth, Stephen Burley, Brian Vaughn, Shannon Arnold, Clarissa Denetterlanden, and Greg Taylor. Until next time, for all of us here, good night.